Welcome to Lazy Hair Tutorials, and my hairstyles are as lazy as my intro. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to release my hair, and then I'm going to use these ribbon hair ties that you're about to see in a second, just section my hair into four different parts. And I prefer using ribbon hair ties because they don't get knotted up in my hair compared to regular hair ties. Don't know why, I'm not sure the science behind it, but once I figured out that ribbon hair ties do not get knotted up in my hair like regular ones, I've been sticking to them ever since. Then I wrap a towel around my neck. Now we're going to use a spray bottle filled with rice water. I remove small pieces of section from the larger piece of section. And then I'm just going to get that small section and spray it with the rice water from the roots to the ends. After I spray it, I just rank it with my fingers as my way of finger combing so I can feel through for any knots because it's been a while since the last time I combed my hair, but at the same time I don't want to over manipulate it. And sometimes you'll see me looking down at the screen, or you might see uh, me talking uh, or laughing. And that's just because I'm watching Netflix, because it takes me all day long to do my hair. And I still want to have fun whenever the time passes by. So instead of standing in front of a mirror all day long while doing my hair, I'll actually sit somewhere else and just watch TV. So, I have finally finished my first section, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to band it up and just kind of sort of tuck in the ends a little bit. Then I'm going to cover it with a shower cap because I sprayed it with a liquid and I don't want that liquid to dry up on my hair. And the section is too small for the shower cap to stay on, so I'm going to put a ribbon hairband over it so then it doesn't come off and I can move on to the next section. So now I'm down to my last section. I've already finished the three other sections and I put a shower cap over it. And since the shower cap is able to stretch over those three sections, I don't need to put any type of ribbon hair band over it. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the very last section of my hair. I just get a smaller section out from that last trunk and then I spray it with rice water and then I run my fingers through that rice water section as a way to finger comb and detangle it and I just do this over and over again until this very last section is completed. Now what I'm going to do is remove the shower cap because I still have a little bit of some rice water left and I don't want it to go to waste because it's going to be sitting on my shelf for a long time or in the fridge for a long time and I really want to use it because there's not that much left. So I'm removing the rest of my sections and I'm just going to spray my hair all over with rice water with the amount that I have left so then my hair is pretty well saturated.
So now that I am completely done, I'm going to resection my hair into four parts. So I'm going to use the ribbon hair ties and just tie my hair back. That way, whenever I put the shower caps on my hair, it can make it easier because my hair is a little bit more compact. And I just put into four section because that's just what I'm used to. And after that, I put on a shower cap on one half of my hair. And then I get a, another shower cap and I put it on the other half of my hair just to make sure everything is covered and then after that i put one large shower cap over everything just so that there's just good levels of shower caps and heat um, in order for the rice water to really get into my hair strands so i leave the shower cap on for one hour and then i'm good to go thanks for watching